Ladies and gentlemen, this YouTube channel vlog show is of authenticity, inspiration, and realness. It is also about personality, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is your host of the show, Mr. Big Beefy E himself, the elder statesman of Rant and Rave, and Mr. Shenanigans himself, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This is episode number 1064. Give me a second here. I need to remove put my tree back where it is. Right, uh, excuse me, rightful position. Here we are. And we're good. We are clear. I'm just taking off my shoes because it's hard to walk on a good floor. And then after I upload these videos, I'm taking a shower and getting to bed. Oh, I had to, had to make my bed. <laughs> Anyways, um, so it's been a long day for me. Bear with me here, folks. And I did a lot. Of, you know, sometimes you have, you know, you get, you know, awesome, you know you're exhausted from the work. Not only just physically, but mentally, because you had to deal with everything else online this week and everything else. You're like, okay, I need to relax my brain just once in a while because everybody's driving me crazy. But, uh, <sighs> But nonetheless, I always try to do my best to do, bring you good shows and all that. I think sometimes a break, a rest, could help. Could be very, very helpful sometimes. So, so yeah, bear with me here. Um, as we are talking about what happened on NXT Deadline 2023. Um, the, with the kickoff show, um, Kelly Kincaid interviewed Country Grit. That will be the team of uh, Brooks Jensen, Josh Briggs, and Fallon Henley. Um, Briggs and Henley have an opportunity to... Um, Go into the tournament, uh, go into the Iron Survivor Challenge and try to win it. And um, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I made a lot of great, um, made a lot of great picks and predictions. So um, let's just say this is going to be, uh, let's just let's just say the deadline is pretty good, um, has been a pretty good, decent show. It t kicked off with Nathan Frazier and Axiom in a rematch from this past Tuesday. What happened was this past Tuesday, their matchup was interrupted by the um, women brawling in the Iron Survivor Challenge, so they tried it again. This, this is a heck of a matchup, and um, and either man could have won, but Axiom did win. Axiom extended his hand, and then Nathan Fraser kind of like slapped it away, but then he went over and hugged Axiom. It was a great matchup, great uh, sportsmanship between the two. This was really, really cool. Now, um, HBK, I would call him the I'd call him the de facto general manager. He was a commissioner at one time uh, during during 1999-2000 era. Uh, I called Shawn Michaels the de facto uh, general manager. Seems like I don't know. Aven, Raven Rain has been a liaison between the locker room and Shawn Michaels, maybe. But anyways, he kicked off deadline and he says, "Are you ready?" And he says, "He's got a visitor." CM Punk arrived. At deadline, he says he missed his flight, so he's hanging out in Bridgeport, Connecticut, saying, what can you do? And Shawn Michaels goes, kind of tweeted him and, on X and said, hey, we'll talk about it live. Come on over. So he did that. He addressed, he addressed uh, Shawn Michaels and everybody else. And he goes, he got a selfie with Shawn Michaels, which I think is pretty cool. And he said, you never know what's going to happen. Who, I'm not going to sell Raw, SmackDown, or NXT. But it was great to see CM Punk on NXT. Rey Mysterio arrived at the deadline uh, on crutches, though. He's joined on commentary. As Dominic Mysterio defended the North American title against Dragon Lee. As you know, Wes Lee was unable to compete due to an injury. He had back um, He's having back surgery. He'll be out eight months to one year. That's So it's really, really hard. And after Wes Lee did work hard to win the match, Win that fatal four way, but in the end, though, unfortunately, he was out. So, looks like I think you when he comes back, he's probably going to challenge somebody from the NXT North American title. Who could be Dominic again? Actually, Dominic Mysterio and Dragon Lee were going one on one. This matchup went back and forth. And uh, by the way, I picked for the kickoff win, I picked Axiom over uh, Nathan Frazier. I picked that the North American title was next, and uh, I picked Dragon Lee over Dominic Mysterio. And Dragon Lee ended up winning the North American title. We have a new North American champion. Excellent matchup. But it looks like uh, Dominic Mysterio will have some splaining to do this Monday night on Raw to his 
Judgment Day stablemates. It seems like Judgment Day is having some a stroke of bad luck. The Creed's defeated Dominic and JD McDonough, but now and Dominic now lost the United the North American Championship. So it'll be very interesting to see now how Mommy Ray Ripley feels about all this. This um, I wouldn't be surprised if I, if I go on X. If I go on X and find out what the bleep is going on there, um, I will find out for you guys. And um, um, mm, let's see if I can. Um, um, Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let, me, let me try to NXT deadline. And. Yep. And. Uh, and. Um, yeah. Um, I will. Uh, let's see. You know, okay, Ray Ripley said, am I upset, sad, mad? Yes. But Dominic has been the biggest workhorse within WWE all here. His growth has been insane. Very, very proud forever, my champion. Well, I think uh, Ray Ripley uh, knows that Dominic's, uh, Dominic's been working very, very hard. Now, you know, despite you know, the characteristics of society, you know, the, the character that he portrays and all, I'm sure in real life he loves his family and all. But, you know, and Ray is rap, right, you know. So, um, so yeah, no shame for Dominic Mysterio. I'm sure they'll bounce back. You know, he'll bounce back somehow. But, anyways, uh, congratulations to Dragon Lee, the new NXT North American champion. The Women's Iron Survivor Challenge. Now, I picked uh, Davenport to win this thing. Lash Legend being the dark horse because Lash Legend, well, after he bought, she body slammed Otis as she can't pull anything, uh, Lash Legend hit the gate with two... She pinned two superstars in a row with counts two points. And then um, everybody except for Keelani Jordan picked up a pin. But Blair Davenport picked three pins and ended up winning the matchup. So, And I picked Davenport to win the Iron Survivor Challenge. That makes me 3-0. And, and then, uh, you know, but during the matchup, Metaphor came out to block the penalty box block from... Fallon Henley and Tiffany Stratton from getting out, so they climbed over when 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 the, the their penalty time of a minute and a half was up. They said, "We're gonna climb over. You won't let us that way." You know, if I was in there, I'd be kicking the door. I'd be kicking the door behind them, man. You know, so but I not hope I was like I'm hoping I knock out Noam Dar. You know, but anyways, so both Fallon and uh, uh, Fallon Henley and Tiffany Stratton did jump out. But then Davenport decided to address Valkyrie. As you know, the winner of the of the match will get a title shot at NXT New Year's Evil. And then Lyra Valkyria, sh Valkyria, sh uh, Lyra Valkyria shows up. But as she was you know, going to respond and, and raise the title, Cora Jade made her return and attacked Lyra Valkyria. Lyra Valkyria is going to have a whole lot of competition. You know, you got Lyra Valkyria... Oh, yeah, Blair Davenport won the Iron Survivor Challenge. You still got Lola Vice, who won the Breakout Tournament and has that contract that she can cash at any time. Then you... Then you got Cora Jade. So that's going to be very interesting, to say the least. You know, you got those three ladies kind of like breathing down your neck, you know, and so, it, it, like I said, it's not going to be fun. Um, so Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes were talking before Hayes' match against Lexus King. By the way, I picked Bla Blair Davenport to win, win that Iron Survivor Challenge. Like I said, it made me go oh, and uh, they made me on um, three and out. Then Carmelo Hayes went one on one with Lexus King, and despite the fact that Hayes did pick up the victory. I mean, it makes you 4 0. Oh. Lexus King's playing more mind games with Carmelo Hayes. It was not me to attack Trick Williams. So. And then Kelly Kincaid uh, interviewed Cora J. And Cora J says she has some encouraging words from CM Punk. 
and everything else. And Cora Jade says that she's back and she wants the women's championship. Then uh, Mel and Trick uh, talk about after Hayes' matchup, and then Trick Williams go, "I gotta do my business." So the men's Iron Survivor Challenge started out with the two big men, um, Dijak and Josh Briggs. Tyler Bate came in, Trick Williams came in, and Braun Breaker. And Braun Baker came out of the House of Fire getting three pins in a row. And within, like, what, a minute or two? But then, in the end, Trick Williams had no pins. But he picked up one pin, then he got sent back to the penalty box. This is a crazy matchup. But then, like, the last minute of the matchup, Trick Williams picked three victories and won the matchup. And won the Iron Survivor Challenge. That made me 5-0 and oh in my picks. Holy cow. But Eddie Thorpe got involved to make an attack um, Dijak during the matchup. And Rey Mysterio was presenting Dragon League with the title backstage. And then Country Grit was a little bit upset about the loss, but Meta Fox uh, decided, you know, decided to run their mouths, dissing them, and then everybody brawled, and that will lead to a six-person mixed tag match next week. So there you go. Meanwhile, it's a steel cage matchup, Roxanne Perez versus Kiana James. And uh, both women just beat the tar each other until when Roxanne Perez is about to, on her way to climb out of the cage, Izzy, uh, Izzy Dane gets involved, slams the door on Roxanne Perez, and then Kiana James did pick up the victory. You know, I would have picked Kiana James had I, you know, because she, I you know, afraid that, you know, even though there's no disqualification, but I did not pick her to win. I picked Roxanne Perez, which made me five and one. And then finally, the NXT Championship, Ilya Dragunov defending against Baron Corbin. These two guys went at it, went at it, went at it, and then uh, Ilya Dragunov ended up being the, uh, being the victor, and much to my friend Dante Pittman's chagrin. But then Trick Williams came out and said, hey, that title's going to be mine. But Carmella Hayes came around up. So this is going to be a very interesting situation, to say the least. So it gets more interesting, the NXT title situation. And... Uh, you know, Blair Davenport may not win the title because this young lady who made a return wants revenge. So, watch your back, Blair Davenport. You may be win the, um, the Iron Survivor Challenge, but you got to deal with Miss Nikita Lyons. So, that's all the time we have on the show. Episode uh, 1064 is complete. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, hopefully, I will get some videos Monday. Who knows for sure. So, until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. This concludes today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Productions. And in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. See you next time on another episode of the show. Goodbye for now.